Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. On a Wednesday, new release night. Doing this new release, 2019 Tops Finest Baseball. Pick your team, number three. Sold out straight up. So thanks, everyone, for getting into it. Appreciate it. Michelle with that last spot mojo. Brew Crew. Surprise, the Brewers are the last team remaining. There's everyone else. Thank you. Here is the case right here. And we've got plenty of figure teams, so go and get it, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. In fact, I think I saw teams move in the next figure team, figure team number four. I think we can sell that one straight up as well. So get into it, folks. Make it happen. All right. So there's two right here. Four, six, and eight. Now check out the website, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Pick your team four. I think still has like 18 teams left. So chances are you'll see your team there. And I would encourage everybody, especially if you're not in this break, I would encourage everyone to get their teams now before um, before they get put into a team random, which is fine, but makes the process a little cumbersome. I'd rather sell sell these out straight up, right? It goes a lot faster instead of waiting on that team random. So make it happen. Uh, Fo Junior has a question on the finest top row autograph grid. It says to be determined for the team. Example: Vlad. Played for multiple teams. What team would get the redemption card? I think that's Vlad Jr. On that. Right? Oh, Vlad, oh the Vlad Sr. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, let's see. If, if it's... If it's a redemption, then it will go to... We'll have to randomize it between the teams that he played for. No, but it'll go to the team that he played for the longest. We'll do it We'll do it that way, just like we do with the non-pro uniforms. I'm hoping that he's not a, uh, that he's not a redemption, so it'll just go to the team that, that's depicted on his, on his shirt. All right, there's Aaron Nola to 99. And the Mystery Redemption, everyone's saying Mystery Redemption A, or whatever that is, or 1, is um, Vlad Guerrero Jr., but I don't see any confirmation on uh, on Beckett or CardboardConnection.com. Is it on Beckett? Can someone check? Or I'll check after this break. Colby Allard, or if it happens, I'll check it during the break. Because we we need to have that for on a, an official source needs to say that. Otherwise, it'll be randomized. That mystery redemption will be randomized to one person in the break. If we pull more than one, we'll separate them. They won't be a lot. We'll roll with it as we as we get to it. So Colby Allard for the Braves. Colton with Colby. First break of pick your team three, box one, mini box one. This is mini box two. And it's Eddie Rosario, 49 out of 50. Nice one for the Twins. That'll be for Damian Stock with the Twins. Eddie Rosario has been raking this season. And then we got Nick Castellanos to 250. All right, MLB.com. Let's look at the scores here, too, as we open up the next box. Nationals beat the White Sox 6-4. to four. Diamondbacks beat my Dodgers 3-2 to two in extras. Dodger bullpen couldn't hang on to that narrow 2-1 lead. Makes me nervous. As time goes on, Dodgers need to be able to win those close games. Can't always rely on that potent offense. Uh, Phillies beat the 
San Diego Padres, seven to five in San Diego, and the I think the Rays snapped like a four or five game losing streak. Beat shut out the uh, Tigers, four nothing. Mets also shut out the Giants, seven nothing. They postponed that Reds Cardinals game. Seems like a lot more postponements and delays, right? That Minnesota Indians game still still delayed. It's the top of the seventh with the Twins up 6-5. It's a divisional game. They wouldn't they wouldn't call that game there. That could have serious implications later on the season. Even though the Twins are surprisingly like what, 8, 9, 10 games ahead of the next team, I think that which is the Indians. Arson, what's going on? Houston with an early 1-0 lead in Seattle. Top of the second. Angels with an early 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first. In Here in Anaheim. Red Sox shutting out the Kansas City Royals 8-0. Texas holding on to a 1-0, narrow 1-0 lead in the bottom of the sixth. Cubbies up on the Rockies 8-3. Marlins, 8-1. What's going on with the Brew Crew? 8-1, leading the Brewers at in Milwaukee. Toronto up 11-7 on the Yankees, and the Pirates up 6-1 on the Braves. That's your score update for Wednesday, June 5th. Brian O., what's going on? Oh, you've got some David's Barbecue Sunflower Seeds? Man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find some. William was saying that there, there's a Walgreen near me. I may, may need to make a trip. Yachty, nice Yachty or Molina autograph for Arthur. Arthur and the Cardinals. See, Arthur, good things happen when you pick your team straight up. There it is. Nice Yachty or Molina. That's a first ballot Hall of Famer right there, right? That's for Arthur and the Cardinals. There's Willie Adams to 250. And there's Brandon Nemo. He looks happy there. 009 out of 150. Metropolitans, DMAC. Darren McKenzie got the Mets straight up. When's Corey Kluber coming back? Remember he got that comebacker on his forearm? Broke his arm? When's he coming back? And if he comes back, how effective will he be? Indians need him. Indians definitely need him. Because... Uh, Carlos Carrasco just went down with like a scary, kind of a scary blood disorder, blood infection or something crazy like that. So he he is on the IL, the ten day IL, but he is uh, he is out indefinitely, which is not good for my fantasy team, but definitely not good for Carrasco. So we'll see what happens there. And Ryan, the Riddler, has, I want to, he wants to hear that train whistle because he got done installing four 6x9s, four 4x6s, two 10-inch subs, and three three maps with, with an ABA 1210 Boss Equalizer. Added the Bluetooth with the phone, so I sound, quote, hella sick. Oh, three amps. All right. Gotcha. Oh, I must sound pretty good there. But what if I made like an annoying sound? 
Would that just be a really loud, annoying sound? If I was like, if I did like a, what if I did a, a tauntaun from uh, Star Wars? I can't do a tauntaun sound, but. And I thought they smelled bad from the outside. Oh, Arthur is like, what, that's it? Arthur, did you see your yachty? There's Colton Carver, Bryce Wilson, Braves. I've got financial interest in the Braves and I, I could use a little comeback from them. These uh, Mariano Vera die cuts are pretty cool. Some of those could be autographed as well. The Yankees, Chad Wright with the Yankees straight up. There's Janie Jansen to 99. And nice Justice Sheffield green wave autograph for the Yankees. Still Yankees edition here. 40 out of 99 for Chad Wright. Nice. Out of 250, Justin Smoke, and there's Josh Bell. Next box. After this one, we'll be halfway through this full case break. We've got more in the store. Pick your team four. Let's get that done. I think we should, can we get that done straight up? Without a team random? No, too late. Pick your team four already in a team random. So there's three teams left straight up and pick your team four and 14 spots left in a team random. Pick your team five still has all 19 teams available straight up. So if you want to avoid doing a team random, then you can definitely get teams straight up. Yeah, I've been pulling a lot of Justice Sheffield, too. You're right. That's like the third one I've pulled today. I was hoping that he'd be in his Se uh, Seahawks. Seattle uh, Mariners uniform, but apparently not yet. I think he's made a couple starts for the Mariners already. He's a big prospect. I think his, his brother Jordan Sheffield, I think, is in the uh, is in the Dodgers organization. Another highly touted prospect in the Dodgers organization too. All right, next mini box. Let's go. And it's Rowdy Tellez for the Blue Jays. Jeremy Tillman with the Blue Birds. Who I think someone was telling me earlier in the chat, excuse me, that they 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 beat the Yankees eleven to seven, that they went back to back to back on home runs to power them uh, to to a lead and and now the win. There's Mariano Rivera, another die cut. Cody Bellinger out of 150. He's been playing some great baseball. Your very early MVP candidate. And your autograph is Chris Shaw for the Giants. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. 20 out of 99. Green parallel for Robert Aguilar and the Giants.
And we got Shohei Otani out of five. Wow. Blue Chips Red Parallel. Shohei Otani. Who's got the Angels? Greg Nelich got the Angels straight up. Nice. Two out of five. That is strong. Greg, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo whoop. All right, just four boxes left. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. We've got more in the store, so check it out. Some team randoms for Pick Your Team 3, and you, or Pick Your Team 4, that is. This is Pick Your Team 3. Um, and you can still buy teams straight up in Pick Your Team 5. We've got, what time is it? By right, the time we're done with this, we'll be close to the top of the hour, around 8 o'clock Pacific. We'll have plenty of time. Plenty of time to break maybe two, three more cases of Finest Baseball, brand new release tonight, before all said and done. Let's do it. We're only three cases in. All right, this is this is Pick Your Team Three. We're only three cases in, so I think, which is still kind of a small sample size. I think there's still a lot of great big hits that we can discover. There's Greg. You're welcome, Greg. Nice Otani out of five. Lucas Giolito on top. Is he is he back? Lucas Giolito? Seems he's been stringing together some really nice starts. There's Jake Bowers, Indians edition to 150. His autographs are still Rays edition. FYI. <laughs> right, yeah, a lot more a lot more Sheffield autos to come. Looks like he's that guy this year. There's Chris Shaw. There's, all, there's always like a couple of guys every year I feel like where you kind of find them in every case. Chris Shaw for the Giants. Another one, Robert Aguilar. Going oppo, oppo Joe Mojo. And there's for the Tigers, Kristen Stewart. 93 out of 99. That goes to Jeremy Menel and the Detroit Tigers. I feel like Stewart's been having a pretty solid rookie campaign. This is one of their bigger prospects, I think. It's Corbin Burns for the Brewers, 250. And Hewdy needs some O's. Who are we looking for Orioles-wise? Cedric Mullins is who we're looking for. All right. Matt Bonner says, Pick your team three went way quicker without the randoms. Think it was too quick on the draw? Well, pick your team five, six, seven, and eight. All still available straight up. 
Go and get it, folks. If you don't want to deal with those team randoms, definitely get your team straight up before they're gone. Stephen K is like, man, I don't think I've even seen a Mariner yet. Who are you looking for, Mariners-wise? Oh, this guy named Ichiro is pretty good. Mitch Haniger, Yusai Kikuchi, and then you've got a a blue chips auto of Mitch Haniger possibility as well. All right. Two, four, six autographs to go. Let's see if we can find some. We need Orioles for Hudy, and Stephen K needs a Mariner. All right. Good luck, you two. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Buster Posey to 150. And there's Chance Adams. That goes to Chad Wright. Fernando Tatis Jr., who I think I saw on MLB.com that he's going to be activated this week. And there's Miguel Andujar. Nice. Chad Wright with the Bronx Bombers. Shame that he went down for the season with that shoulder surgery, but he was last year's AL Rookie of the Year runner-up behind Otani. So I could see him getting into things, getting into it next year. And wow, another out of five. Oh, Tim saying Tatis Friday for Tatis. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Getting him back in action on the field. Three out of five. Another red parallel for Michael K this time. No ink, but still cool. And still out of five and under, so a train whistle. <laughs> Michael K, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. All right, two to go. Good luck, everybody. I have financial interest in the Braves. It does not look like they're going to be coming back. They, in fact, they're continuing to give up runs. To the Pirates. 7 1 now, Pirates, at the end of the fifth. Still some time left. Six runs. Six runs and six, seven, eight, nine, four innings. They can do that. They can do that. Cubs with a narrow lead. Eight to seven on the Rockies. So Cubs bullpen giving up some runs there. I guess they really need Kimbrel. They could use Kimbrel tonight. Are they going to fly him in tonight? Rangers still holding on. one nothing over the Orioles in the bottom of the seventh. And uh, the Red Sox in control. 8 nothing in the top of the ninth on the Royals. Royals have the bottom of the ninth left. Oakland with a 3-1 lead in Anaheim. Top of the second. And the top of the third. Astros. one nothing on the Mariners. And still, in a, still holding at the top of the seventh is the Twins at Indians. That game has been delayed for a while. Does anyone know if uh, does anyone know if that game's gonna get started again? Brandon Nichols has financial in interest in the Astros in this break, and it's not looking good so far. Well, we've got four autos left. Let's see what we can do, or maybe a red parallel. 
All right, good luck, Brandon. Good luck, everybody. We've got Luis Urias to 250. That's for the Padres. That's for Colton. And it's, speaking of the Twins, Eddie Rosario. Nice. I think that's our second one of the night, right? Damian Stock with the Twins. We saw one early in the case, and now we see one late in the case. Nice. And Shantz is still delayed. I doubt they're going to call it, right? In the divisional game. And it's Kyle Wright, orange parallel. 18 out of 25 for Colton Carver and the Bravos. Nice. Nice looking Kyle Wright. One more box to go. There's Kershaw. There's Kersh to 50. A little tiny bit of Dodger Joe Mojo for Tommy. All right, last two autographs here in Pick Your Team 3. We've got some teams and a team random for Pick Your Team 4, so take advantage of that, especially for, for those of you who are like, I want to try to get a team, an expensive team for cheap. Give that team random a shot. If you want to get your team straight up, you can still get them straight up in Pick Your Team 5, 6, 7, and 8. So don't miss your opportunity there. All of that is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Pick your team three. Almost done. What else is going on in the baseball world today? Charlie Morton apparently shutting down the Tigers for his seventh win. Did Vargas go the distance and Mets shut out a win? All right. Oh yeah. Do you would you bunt if you were a player or a manager? Would you bunt to break up a no hitter late in the game? Apparently there was a brawl in the minor leagues yesterday, a couple days ago, whenever it was. But I think some player on the the team being no hit had bunted like in the eighth or ninth inning to break up the no-hitter, and then there were, like, benches cleared. I think, uh, yeah, Arthur, I'm with you. F the other team. I don't want to get no-hit. I'll, I'll bunt. Absolutely. Right? Matt, bunt, bunt all day, right? Yeah. No, no way I'm going to get no-hit. And there's Brad Keller. Yeah, Tim's like one, two run game, sure. I mean, hey, even in like a, I would go up to like four runs, like w within a grand slam. Uh, if I'm getting blown out by like 10 runs, it's 10 nothing, I'm getting no hit. Yeah, let's not let's not let's just let's not waste our time. <laughs> let's just let's just call it. I won't, I'll just swing away. But other than that, definitely bunting. All right, the last autograph. Good luck, everybody. There's Acuna Junior to 150, and it's wow, Eloy Jimenez out of 99. 
one out of 99. Maybe I would still bunt 10 nothing though. Yeah, Matt Bodner saying, teams have come back down 10-0. Why shouldn't you just try to win? All right. I think I'd actually still bunt there. I, I just won't get no hit. That's embarrassing, right? There's Eloy Jimenez. Green way for Michael K and the White Sox. Nice way to close things out. Hoping he can have a big rest of the season. And there is everybody else. And that's it. Thanks, everyone. Joe for Jasmine's CaseBreaks.com. That was 2019 Finest Baseball. Pick your team number three. Oh, you know what? I don't know if there is any Marlins cards there, but I guess we'll do a quick randomizer. For that, let's roll the dice. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Uh, so, Darren, if there's any Marlins cards that's not veteran common, then I'll go to you. A little, little extra bonus right there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team three in the books. Thanks, everybody. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.